Greetings, Quester, and welcome to the Quest Report with Matt and Richard. It's basically a one versus all game. Uh, you've got one player who is Jack the Ripper. <laughs> he his objective is to um, make make the killing and return to his secret lair. Yeah, and it's on several nights, isn't it? Yes, over four different nights, and this is uh, achieved by him using hidden movement. Meanwhile, a team of policemen, uh, one of which will be the lead investigator for a particular round, will attempt to track his movements and make the arrest. Mm. And Jack also has the restriction of 15 movements each night. It's up to Jack, really, when he strikes. And I found that bit of the game really interesting Mm. because um, sometimes... I thought I definitely have to just strike straight away because otherwise you guys are going to just corner me. The movement of the game is interesting because when you strike, that is when Jack basically enters the board. Until that point, he wasn't even on the board. There are times where you think, oh, I wish I could arrest after I've searched for clues. But that's the whole point. You've got to choose one or the other. And Mm. if you've got a real strong hunch as to where Jack is, then you better make that arrest. (laughs) Because if you don't, unless you've got another player or another uh, patrolling right next to that spot as well he's going to be gone by the time that you have another chance to arrest so and get a coach <laughs> yeah <laughs> or zipping through an alleyway yeah. it's quite exciting thinking oh we're on the trail we're we're, mm. we're, we're, we're catching up to where jack is uh, is jack near me and you, and that thought of when you know you are close do i make that arrest or do i search for clues but generally speaking there's not a great deal to do as the police in this no and you, you, uh, apart from teamwork apart from teamwork which is nice, um, and it's nice to w- work with other players because you could play this controlling with one per- player controlling all of the police. You just have to divide up the five police yeah. amongst how many there are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so one person could control all five of those, but I think in that case it'd be lacking because you wouldn't have that feel of um, right. We're all in this together. Let's no. let's find this guy and trying to work out between you know amongst yourselves what to do and how to divide. Yeah, because it was quite good um, watching the discussions between you guys of uh, trying to decide where it was. And I tried not to give away anything if one of you would guess very accurately. <laughs> it made me worried. <laughs> I do think that this is a very enjoyable game mm. that a lot of people would probably um, enjoy from that perspective. What do you think about the role as Jack? Um, I, I loved it because basically it was me versus all of you guys and I knew stuff you didn't know. <laughs> I do imagine I would like it as the police as well, although it could get quite frustrating sometimes because like on that first night, I think you guys only managed to get one clue, didn't you? Uh, and then I just declared that was back at my base. Mm. But then the second night you ended up getting quite a few clues mm. and you could have like proper discussions amongst yourselves about where you thought I would go. Um I did love it, yeah, because... I was able to formulate my own little plans and then just see if they worked. And I did a lot of trying to look at the wrong part of the board. Because I know you guys wouldn't wouldn't be being sneaky or anything, but you can't help but just notice like, if I'm looking at one side of the board more. We only played the base game. There are uh, different modules you can use within the base game. Like There's certain cards that do different things, don't, mm. aren't they? Um, and there is also the expansion. You'll you'll be able to have it this game, but you'll also be learning about the history of it as well. Uh, personally, I I'm interested in in those because I find investigations in themselves can be quite interesting. Mm-hmm. I've always liked crime novels and and films and everything. As a game, this is quite enjoyable, and I think I can play it with a lot of people. Right. Yeah. The obvious comparison for me is to compare this to. Um, Fury of Dracula. In that, there's more things that you can do there. But that is definitely like a, a more in-depth version of this. Mm. My sister was saying that it's also like Scotland Yard. She Apparently she played that with some of her friends back home, and that was a bit similar where you would write down movements. Mm. Yeah, so it's like a hidden movement game as well. So that's I think this is another version. I think she said this one's a little bit more involved. I would recommend this one. I think it's enjoyable. It's a good price as well. I would well. definitely recommend this. Yeah, I think lots of people would find it fun and I think they might be surprised by how much they enjoy it. I think it's quite interesting to... I think once you'd 
got past like that first night and Jack had got back to his mm. base, you'd be like really wanting to get to the next night to try mm. and see if you can catch him this time. So yeah, and that is one of the things about it, trying to work out where that base is, so mm. you can be in the right place to intercept him and things like that. But it's all about the deduction of trying to work out where Jack's been, where he's going to. Farewell, Questa. To find out about other productions by the Middlesome Meeples, then check out our channel or rendezvous with us at middlesomemeeples.com. Until next time, Questa, farewell and keep thine axe sharp.